You must be mad, Private. This is the German army. The, the soldiers are going into war, and you want to sabbat them out free? This was Franz Hassel, a man who was so strong and faithful to principle that he decided to keep the Sabbath in the middle of German Nazi army. Can you picture this? A man who goes into war and in the middle of a society that doesn't accept Christianity, he stands for the truth. You know, this book, when I started reading it, I could not stop. It was so powerful, every page just demonstrated the mighty power of God, how God can use people for his glory, and how the influence of people committed to Christ have an amazing influence. This fascinating story of Franz Hassel happened a long time ago. This man, he was a Seventh-day Adventist. He was committed, and his family too was committed to Christ. But when the Germans decided to have the war, he was drafted into the army, and as he came there, he asked them, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. I don't eat pigs. I don't work on Sabbath, and I ask if you could please give me leave on Sabbath from working. And this is what the man responded. He was mad. How could that be possible? But yet, in all the period of the war, he kept every single Sabbath. How he did this? This is the mighty power of God. This book taught me how the Lord helps people to be faithful to him. You know something? At times he would be going out to the, to the war and he would not carry weapons because he knew that that would be a temptation. So his pistol, he changed that to a wooden pistol because he was a good marksman and he knew that that would be a temptation. And as he would go into places, he would warn the people ahead of time, saying, the Germans are coming. That way they could be saved. This heroic act would be immediately said to the, if it, if it was found, he would have been executed immediately. But yet, the Lord preserved his life. He even preserved the life of his family. You know, Franz Hassel, at the end, when the war was ended, he was ready to be released. And an American soldier asked him, why do you have court-martial in part of your writing? And he said, one day I refuse to work on the Sabbath because I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. And because of that, I got the court-martial. The man exclaimed, how is that possible? And he said, I kept every single Sabbath. And the man said, I'm a Jew in an American army, and still, I don't keep the Sabbath. And he said, and Franz Hansel responded, I recommend to you, keep the Sabbath. You know, a man cannot keep the Sabbath, but the Sabbath kept him and guarded his life. Franz was bold to stand for truth. He was bold to, to take hold of promises and do his will. A Thousand Shall Fall is the title of this book, a book that when you start reading, you can't stop. I highly recommend this. And I hope each one of you can read this. And in every single page, you will find out how a radical person who had faith in Christ was able to stand for truth, no matter if that, was, if that referred to death. This book was written by Susie Mundy Hassel, and you can find in the Review and Herald. And if you have dollar bills with death precedents written on them, you can pay that with $13. It's not that expensive. If you want to experience what Franz experienced, challenging faith that commits to Christ and that is willing to put everything in the line, read this book and you'll find out how one man was faithful enough to keep the Sabbath and to follow Christ.